Hey guys, how's it going? Remington here, and today I'm with you for a tutorial on how to earn credits super fast on Sheep at Render Farm. Now, if you remember, a while ago I made a tutorial on how to create and upload a project for Sheep at Render Farm. And basically, what Sheep it is, is it renders your projects completely free. And it's based off of these things called credits. You use credits when you render, and when you're rendering something for somebody else, so when you're running the Sheep at Executable, which is right here on my desktop, as you can see, it will earn you credits. And the more credits you have, the faster your project will be rendered. So I'm basically going to teach you how to get these super fast and easily. So typically you just run the software whenever you're um, not doing anything on a computer and it would use your computer's resources to render. And that's basically the same thing what we're doing, but we're automating it. We're making it so that it automatically runs the software when you're not on there. And when you come back, it'll automatically close it. So this will work with Windows 7 through 10, I believe. It might work on XP, but I don't know anybody that still uses XP. I'm sure there are some. So we're gonna start by coming down here to the Start menu. And if you aren't um, on Windows 10, there'll be a little search box that you can click. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and type it in. We're going to type in Task Scheduler. There you go, just like that. And you can see we now have this little window here. And we're going to come down to the task schedule library and you can see I actually already have it right here but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one um, for the sake of this video that way you guys can follow along so over here on the right we have this option called create basic task we'll go ahead and click this actually let's click create task create task will give us more options I'm going to call this sheep it automation you can call that whatever you'd like if you'd like to give it a description you can and call mine sheep it all right, now if we come down here, you can see you can change the uh, following user account to run it on. For me, I'm the only user of my computer. Typically just set this to yourself. And then you have two options, run only when the user is logged on or run whether the user is logged on or not. I'd click this personally because it runs it whether you're on there or not. And then we can just ignore the rest of this stuff. Now if we go to triggers, we can add a new trigger and you can see, we can see begin the task on its schedule. And I'm gonna select daily over here, so it runs every day. And we're going to set it up to, oh, here you go. So it starts today, and we're gonna make it activate at 12 o'clock on the dot a.m. So it runs at midnight, exactly midnight. And we can check this delay task for up to, and then I'm gonna select uh, 30 minutes. Actually, no, we'll do one minute. That way, in case something help happens, it kind of has a bit of a threshold to work around. And then, if you'd like to, you can check this thing, which stops the task if it runs longer than three days. That way, your computer's not just being used constantly. I'm not gonna keep this off. And we also have this option called Enabled, and that means it's actually enabled. So I'm gonna click OK. And we're gonna, gonna come down to actions, add a new action, start a program, click browse, and then navigate to wherever your sheepit.exe file is. If you don't have it downloaded, you can download it easily from their website. Oops. Just head over to sheepitrenderfarm.com or sheepit-renderfarm.com and then get started. And voila, there you go. Click that and you will be off. So go ahead and select it, click open, and we don't need to uh, do anything for the rest of that. And then we can go to conditions. And something that I think is really useful is these uh, idle. So let's say I wanted to start the task only when the computer's idle for 10 minutes. That way, say I'm on my computer until 1 a.m. and then I get off, it'll wait 10 minutes and then it will run. That way it's not constantly worrying about, oh hey, um, or that way you're not constantly worrying about this random program popping up and ruining your computer's performance while you're on it. And then we also have this option, uh, stop if this computer ceases to be idle. And then you can also see wait idle for one hour. Um, I'm not really sure what that does. And then we also have restart if idle state resumes. I'm gonna check that as well. Now I'm on a desktop, but if you're on a laptop, these power settings will be crucial, crucial for you. Um, that way you're not wasting battery power when you're well, when you need it. So if that's the case, make sure you check start the task only if computer's on AC power and stop if computer switches to battery power. And then you can also wake the computer to run the task. I'm not going to do that. If you'd like to, you're welcome to. 
and of course you need to have a network connection in order for it to run so I'm going to choose my um, Ethernet connection there which is uh, that BW2 extension and now we have a couple different things um, this is more preference you can uh, do a bunch of different things I'm gonna check this one because I want to run the task as soon as possible after the miss or after it misses and this is also useful if the task fails restart every one minute and three times that way it kind of just if it fails to start for whatever reason it can try multiple times before it just quits and you can see you can set the uh, attempt to restart time how many times it attempts to restart up to about three and that should be good and then you can see here uh, if the task is already running then do the following so you could either run a new instance in parallel which would be dumb queue a new instance which would be dumb stop the existing existence what would be which would be kind of dumb we'll just do do not start a new existence that's definitely the best uh, option so now I click OK and you can see it asks for my password there we go and now we have this you can see here sheep it automation and you can see it's running 12 a.m. every day now if you for whatever reason need to disable this you can just right click it and click disable or if you want to test it out click run and we'll see it might actually not work yeah it's not gonna work because it's trying to uh, um, it's it's waiting for me to be idle for 10 minutes but because I'm not going to be idle for 10 minutes um, it's not gonna do anything so that's basically how to earn credits really fast these will rack up overnight like I'm not even kidding um, last two days ago I had around 60,000 points and look at that 104 that there are 104,000 credits now and that's just insane so I hope this guy this helped you guys out um, that way you can use sheep at render farm to the best of your ability uh, if you have any questions be sure to leave them down in the comments I also make a new video every Wednesday and Saturday I try my best at least so be sure to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials and I'll see you guys later adios